Uh, been a while. Yeah. Yeah, it's been way too long. Waiting? Waiting for what? No, I'm, I'm beginning. So we're good. Oh, yeah, that's right. Shit, no, I we're waiting. We're, we're Tomb Raider. We're doing the other half of the water levels. Oh boy. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, you should probably see see what's going on, shouldn't you? Give me a sec. Oh yeah, you gotta uh, do the screen share. Oh, we didn't now test. Now on Linux. I Windows is still is unstable again. It worked for Vampire Survivors, and then just decided. Yeah, let it me just stopped. I'm annoyed. I, I like this motherboard. I would, in theory, I like this motherboard, but not if it doesn't want to cooperate with like the biggest. Uh... How, can you see it? Like the main thing you use your computer for? Yeah, I can see it. All right, cool, cool. Uh, oh my god! I don't hear it, but maybe that's my fault. Also, not the end of the world. What the fuck is going? Yeah, lower, please. Thank you. All right. You see, you can't hear what's going on. That's weird. Uh, no. Let me see if I can fix that really quick. By the way, if you think that these technical difficulties were, like, kind of off, um, you should have, uh... Oh, yeah, probably, it's probably a Linux thing, isn't it? I'm sure we can recount the entire story once we get started. Let's just yeah. make sure that we're, like, fully set up and everything yep. first. Yeah, Wreck of the Maria Doria. It's doing the thing. No, it's not. It, 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 there was a thing that was saying, "Hey, uh, that we're sharing, you're sharing this window," and I had to to minimize it because I knew. Still barefoot. We, we're gonna yeah, get. I fucking don't have tetanus. game audio. Shit. So I, I guess that's fine. Uh oh, you know what works? You know what we have? You know what I have that works uh, on Linux? Parsec. What? Just fucking. Let's just fucking use Parsec. Uh, we can. Do you want to? I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use Parsec. All right. Well, let's use Parsec then. We're gonna use Parsec. Don't don't, don't fuck with don't fuck you with must, my game. You must re-authenticate. Okay. Parsec uh, does this a lot. They like they like to double they, check they my like password to do this. often. Yeah. They just are like, hey, uh, is this all good? You're not you're not using this to like scam, are you? Uh, join with a share link up here. Can I share mine, though? Where's my share code? This is not a thing in- oh, come on. I don't see your computer on mine yet, yeah, even I'm though, gonna... like, we're friends on Parsec, right? Yeah, we should- yeah, we are. Uh... Does it just not work? Oh my god. Always something. There's like, there should be like a thing that says, hey, uh... Oh, uh... Okay, no, not there. <laughs> this is so... This is so... Okay, I guess, I guess it doesn't work for Linux? So either you don't have game audio, or I would use Parsec, but it's apparently broken. I, I guess that's, I, that's fine. I, just, I won't have audio for a stream. Sucks. I would prefer you to have audio. The only thing I'm really going to be missing out on is the cutscenes. Good cutscenes. At least you have, at, yeah. you know what? At least you have uh, subtitles. Okay. Okay. Uh. Anyway. Yeah. Back to Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. The best one, by the way. According to the people. best of the trilogy. We're beginning with. Did, are there actually? Is that a popular opinion? Uh. I think people... You've mentioned that this oh, is your fuck off, divers. of the three, but what's? Mm -hmm. But what's like the the common opinion? I think the common opinion is that. I don't know what the common opinion is. I think... You don't really talk to other Tomb Raider fans? No, I, I don't. Like, believe it or not, I, I don't know a lot of people that, like, that, like, love this game other than my ma. So, 
Yeah. And she's played. That she's, wasn't a diss. I was just, I was just curious. And she, she uh, played one, and she played three. Well, she owned one, and she owned three, and I played the demo of two. And from what I played, I liked it, but then I didn't realize that the com that I would grow to despise the combat system. So we had to look up like some old, old like mm -hmm. forums from when this game was in its heyday, and oh, people yeah. were sharing like mods or whatever. Oh, the Usenet shit. That old. Okay. Uh, gotta get back in the habit of saving every five seconds because I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh yeah. I think. I mean, I'm gonna mute myself for a second just so we can uh, just so we can uh, take a look at the audio levels real quick. Yeah, tell me, tell me how it's going. Oh, that's. I have a feeling I'm not supposed to be down here yet. Seems fine. Cool, cool. What, is this another? Oh, no, this goes back to the main... Okay, so here's what I've noticed. So we, so we go here. It's, so we came from here. There was a diver that, like, uh, attacked us with uh, spears. There's no uh, other... Double check. Let's, let's go to standard. Yeah, there's no other, like, uh, entrance here. So... Hey, so I'm not one of those people who can really see frame rate. If you're watching this and are like, what the fuck, why is it suddenly 30 FPS? That, that's a Linux thing. Yeah, is, it, it seemed fine. We're not totally sure if it's in 30 or not. Uh... But OBS seemed to suggest that it was recording in 30 FPS instead of our usual 60. No, it, se no, it seems like it's fine, according to OBS. Like, it's it seems like it's recording in... Uh... Okay. If it's recording in 30, though, I apologize. I'd like to do it in... I really... So this is now the, like, third or fourth time you've had to reset everything, everything in OBS up. Y yes. And it's probably not going to be the last, considering how... Imagine if I... Okay. Um... Right, so that's Real the... fake floors. That's the intended... That's why they gave me a fucking medipack, because they knew... They knew that shit that's was... That's mean. That is mean. Yeah, just eat this Eat this health damage. This game, this game can be very mean, and I'm... I'm not happy about that. I'm also detecting... I'm detecting oh. by us talking over each other a little that we have, like, the delay thing that we had going on with oh. Vampire Survivors. Oh, yeah, shit. That's fine, we'll just have to keep it in mind. Why am I so delayed? I have to wait for you to, like... That was a great stream, wasn't it? What One person was on a second delay and the other person couldn't hear anybody. Sorry, give me a sec. I'm killing these guys. All right. Yep. How, how are they Man able to get? Bat. How are they able to get down here with like fucking tank tops and baseball bats? Why did I think that baseball bats would be effective in a, in a fucking wreck under under the ocean? The fuck well, is wrong with you? Fire, they'll be wet. By the way, um, I looked up. Uh, d this isn't because I was curious about this or anything, <laughs> but I looked up uh, like like ocean disasters. Like the uh, you ever heard of the Bifurt Dolphin incident? Uh -huh. No. What do you think? It doesn't involve dolphins, let me tell you. It's not that uh, that cute or fun. Basically, there were a bunch of like deep divers who were uh, who were like doing some some work uh, on like a construction rig, and they were doing saturated diving, which means they were in like they had to be like in uh, in pressures like that were very high that are bins causing. For like long ass periods of time, which means they had to go to an area that was just pressurized, uh, so that uh, so that they could maintain that pressure and not like get get uh, decompression sickness or or like that that, that kind of thing. So unfortunately, yeah. their security measures were sh were shit, and uh, they ended up fucking up to where the pressurized cabin they were all staying in and got like depressurized almost instantly. And, uh, you know that you know in the in tabletop games they have something called the chunky salsa rule. No, what is the chunky salsa rule? Um, 
basically, if you were to... It doesn't matter what your hit point levels are at. If you were to do something that, like, that, like, would re re reduce you to chunky salsa, then it's just, like, you're just dead. Stats be damned. Yeah, those guys, those guys I'm basically... I'm picturing, a. Uh... Yeah. I'm picturing the scene from Metalocalypse where the new producer guy is in like a sub underwater depressurizing. You remember that? Yeah, it was worse than that. Um, it, their eye, it wasn't just their eyes that got uh, popped. Um, uh, they said that like that like uh, the bl their blood boiled. So that being said, uh, Laura is tough to just go into a fucking like into the bottom of the ocean and just and just like tank face tank that shit without any trouble now i'd call it unrealistic but it's no less unrealistic than some shit that james bond or any other action hero would do oh god yeah james bond didn't get decompression sickness nice, uh, nice fake tunnel exit yeah i have to we have to unlock something i think Come on, let's go. Uh. Okay, so that's gonna open later. I have no right to complain about the lack of lighting in this area because it's, it's a fucking ship underneath the ocean. I'm. Alright. This should be pitch black. Yes. Be grateful for what I've got. Oh, that's slightly different. Alright, so I'm gonna guess there's a switch somewhere around here. Okay. Oh! Wait a minute. I see you! Is that a wicker box? Did you not see the, the box until now? I... You know what? No. No, I didn't. I was looking for a switch. Okay. Uh... Also, it's dark, okay? I'm... Still without a monitor that, I mean, I that, can't like... say anything. I haven't been paying attention to the game. I just, I saw the box and I assumed, well, if it's important, then he'll do something with it. And I didn't. <laughs> And... Oh, God. Is it going to prevent you from pulling it backwards because, well, I'll slip off the ledge. Safety. Like, I'm, I'm going to push it forward then. How about that? You go forward. It's so dark. Laura, what's going on? It's dark. It's confined. I'm scared. We reference that a lot, and no one is ever going to understand it because we're the only people who watch Ursa Yatsura. I'm sure there are others. I'm sure there are more people that watch the new one than the old one. As sad as that makes me feel. Did that... Did that happen yet in the new one? Did they do Mendo's... Like, yeah, they did. Fear of the Dark? Well, they, they, they touched on it, where it was like... He was, uh... Let's save again. He was, uh, like, talking about, like, he was in the cave, and he was getting nervous. And then, and then, uh, Ataru, like, realized it. What the? Some weird chandeliers. There's some, uh, them some strong tables. They bolted him to the ground. Her feet must be so slimy down here. Everything must be so slimy down here. Slime. It's like a, like a fucking Nickelodeon like uh, game show. That much slime. Uh. There's something. There's something here, right? They wouldn't just put it here just to say, "Hey, they look at this cool set piece." All right. Probably. 
Right, I'm gonna load low res mode. Speaking of uh, yeah, feet. feet. Uh, one of the changes in the Paper Mario remake is that they added like Princess Peach barefoot noises for the invisible section. <laughs> the flap, 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 flaps. Wait, maybe. Yeah. No, that didn't work out. That's not glass, whatever that is. Alright, uh, there's nothing here. Except, I guess, for a window saying, hey, you need to go here at some point. That switch. I don't have a key. There's... So there's no switch. No key. No nothing it's except like tables and chairs! Room. Look at how key Does this just exist so that you can see out there? You see out there and say and see that there's a key that needs to be grabbed. D better fucking grab it. Wait. Hold on. Is there? That window stands out, but oh, there's also. Oh, there's a hole. There. Oh, get up there. Is that a hatch? Well, it's. It looks like it's a hatch. Yeah. Yeah, I was holding the A. I wasn't jumping. Gotta so... find a switch. Yep. Okay, so we got uh, hatch number two, which means that there's another. Fucking key slash switch that we need to throw. Good to know. Let's open the. Let's, uh. There's right. another box. Yep, box number two. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> hey, uh, so. Uh, a person, uh. Breaks into your house. Uh, question: What what would be the appropriate like response uh, for the person who you knew broke into your house? Didn't do anything. Maybe they ripped a picture, but uh, otherwise he just kind of he just kind of trolled around your house and he filmed himself doing it with like his friend. What do you think is the appropriate response to that? Uh, I mean, I would beat the shit out of them. Okay. Is what I would do. That you you beat the shit out of him. Uh, w would you um? Would you? I work? wouldn't like pull a gun or something. Oh, you're stealthy. I'll send you guy. <laughs> Sorry, give me a second. Uh huh. Fucking. Why do these ninjas look like commandos? Um. Uh -huh. The reason I ask uh, Ninja Commando. The, the reason I ask movie. is is because um is because that that's part of a this the storyline was that Swerve Strickland from AEW like broke into Hangman Page's home. He's just roll, roll around. He found uh, the baby's crib with the baby not in there, and he like cut a promo on the imaginary child saying that like that like her dad sins of the father and all that, and he left a shirt there. And Paige was, like, so pissed off about it. Um, and then, like, a year later... I'm pretty sure you described this scene in the previous Tomb Raider uh, stream. Yeah, but uh, it escalated uh, a week ago um, when uh, when uh, Swerve, like, bought back his childhood home, uh, for, like, that he lost growing up for his mother. And then, uh... Yeah. And then, sorry, that guy was shooting. And then, uh, and then Paige decided, you know what, I'm gonna get my revenge. And you know what he did? <laughs> you know what he did? He broke into that home? That's right, he burned it down! He, he just, I he, see. He, he went. That is not an appropriate response. <laughs> he went and grabbed a gas can, he like set that house on fire, he sat down in a comfortable chair in front of it and started sipping whiskey. You're right, and you're right. It's not. It's not an appropriate response. It's kind of an overreaction. Like to. <laughs> like, are these two like it? Would which one of them, if either, is considered a heel? Uh, uh hangman is because because uh, you know to bring it into somebody's house, like it kind of sucks. You get traumatized. You can have trauma from it, but it's just tomfoolery. A little bit of tomfoolery. Burning someone's childhood house down? That's like... That's, that's like, beyond the pale. 
guessing I gotta go up there and do something. This is what they want me to do. I don't I, think most Venture Brothers villains would do that. Uh, burn somebody's house down? <laughs> yeah. Like, like they didn't, like, uh, Skull didn't, like, like, uh, Death, Death Skull or whoever that was didn't, like, burn down the Venture Brothers compound to get revenge on, uh, I don't think, do you think the Monarch would? The Monarch would just fucking, like, burn? Probably. Rusty. Yeah, he'd do it. He's the he's the loose cannon in the guild. We know that. The mighty Monarch. The fuck do you want me to be up here, game? Yeah, that sure is some upside-down art, orc. You're talking of breaking into someone's house reminded me of something, and now I've forgotten what it was. Oh, Darn. Damn. Hopefully you'll remember. Burn my house to the ground! My family's dead! What do I do? Oh, I see. Okay. Is that even gonna work? Has to. No way it won't. Great. Right. See if this works. Oh, you can shimmy. Yeah. Now, does this look different in... No, not really. Still would have given me trouble. <laughs> hey, you've got a gun. Uh -huh. Bags of whatever the fuck that is. Oh, I've still got the empty uh, flare. Uh... Yeah, so uh, so they uh, they decided to have an unsanctioned match at the very end of the of uh, the like the last pay per view, which was yesterday. I didn't get to watch it because I was like sick because I decided for whatever reason it was a good idea to to just take three vaccines at once. But yeah, yeah, just like hey, good ah, uh, here's that for an idea, just. Flu, COVID, and tetanus shots, just all at once, at the same time. Okay, that doesn't really exist, so I can jump through it. I've learned that, I've learned for the, to, at this game that, like, that, like, nothing's off limits for this game. If it doesn't seem like I should be there, uh, despite it being possible, then I'm just gonna try it anyway. Okay, that looks like a key. Uh-huh. It is... What is that? A circuit breaker?! This is in the, in the middle of the fucking ocean! Okay. Those circuits are gonna work?! <laughs> I didn't see a circuit board or anything. Where would it be? Alright, uh... So we came from here. I don't think this game ever gets this dark again, except for, uh, like, a few things in Tomb Raider 3, but at least the darkness there makes somewhat... It doesn't look that dark on my end. Maybe because I have the room lights on. Maybe if I turn them off, it would help me. Uh, all right. I guess we're doubling back. We got a circuit breaker now. Is there a circuit in the? No, that can't be a circuit in the dining room because there's a fucking door in the dining room. <sighs> all right. Nothing in this room. Something in the main room? See anything in the main room? So it must be in the it must be in the topsy turvy dining room. And we're just and I'm just fucking missing it. You already went behind where the boxes were. 
Uh, yeah. Just... Did that... That didn't open the hatch that was in here, I assume. No. What, grab, just grabbing the circuit breaker? It would have showed, showed where I needed to go in that regard. I'm just... Are we sure we can't break any of these? I, I mean... No, it's, okay. it's made of it's made of a uh, made of that magic pe plexiglass shit. Sure, we can't climb up here because because uh, there's a hatch. What about this in. one specifically in the corner? Because it's kind of on its own. Talking about that one? Oh, this one? Yeah. No. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh. Found is that, you. There. It is something. Let me in! No. Not what we're looking for. But, we found a key, so... If we find a key, we come back here, but right now we need to find a circuit box. Of, or something. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna dive in the water again. Maybe, maybe there was a circuit, like a box I missed. Would you describe this as a Sony series? As a Sony series? Yeah, Tomb Raider. Uh, uh I suppose. It was on PC as well. Um, I would describe it as more of a Sony series than like a like a Microsoft series. At least at first. You heard about the uh, the recent Sony statement? They made a statement? What the fuck did they say? It was something along the lines of, like, uh, well, you know what, we're not doing well because we just don't have the IPs. You know, we don't have any IPs at Sony. You don't- they don't have any IPs? The fuck do they mean they don't have any- Spyro? Crash? And just, like, everyone exploded with the long list of IPs that they haven't done anything with in, like, 20 years? God. Okay, um... That, uh, that Astro Bot game is apparently, like, being received well. I heard about that, and I heard that Crash was, like, cameoing in it as well. Yeah, it has a bunch of, like, uh, PlayStation characters in it. So a game that is full of their IPs comes out around the same time as they say. We don't have any IPs! Well, for games, films, or anime, we just don't have that much IP that we fostered from the beginning, <laughs> is the exact quote. And Darian's they like, oh man, we rebooted The Last of Us like three times. There's nothing else to do now. We've tried nothing and we're out of ideas. It's that kind of thing where it's just like, it, it's like, you, you, it's not the fact that you don't have IPs. It's the fact that, that you've treated your IPs like shit now that, and now other IPs are doing better than you. And you're, you were just side-eyeing them like enviously. Like a bunch of fucking idiots. like... <laughs> put all their eggs into the one basket that was the safest and most profitable and now that's now that like that's one run the dry. bar for anything they're going to do yeah now that that's run dry they're just like they're crying foul we don't have any ips where all the ips go maybe it's here i am so glad that i i, I don't know if we're gonna get stuff out of the properties that went to microsoft i'm just glad that it's out of a lot of these IPs are out of Activision's hands. Well, I the mean, ones that were shuttering studios for Call of Duty. Yeah, and then and then well, we also got Embracer Group, which is doing the same thing, and they're they're a fucking independent uh, studio shuttering company. Okay. Then there's the Concord debacle. I've heard about that. Like the game just did jet jack shit in terms of like, was that a live service game? It was, and it was, like, so poorly received that it was shut down and, within, like, two weeks. And then they refunded everyone. <laughs> and it was, like, th that was their, like, big thing. They were they were gonna, they were planning to milk that for, like, years. That had an, that has an episode in that upcoming crossover TV show they're funding. Concord does. <laughs> Fucking... So, uh, good luck with that. Well, I mean, people they were... put all of their eggs into one basket in order for it to fucking explode. Blew up in their face. 
Why? Like that, that? Nobody. Nobody really like they. The live service uh, like train is has been dead for a while though. Like everyone was all in on live services, and then the more people were like, or like the people were starting to rebel against it because it, it's just like people were tired of it, and a lot of them weren't doing well. I think people should have seen the writing on the wall uh, when Kill the Justice League didn't do well. And then, and then there is a uh, is Ob still recording? Because I'm not getting screen on Discord anymore. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, it's still recording. Uh, can you try to reshare on Discord? Yeah, yeah. How is it not? Uh. Right. Is it working now? The stream you're viewing currently has reduced video or all audio quality. Serious. This might be due to network conditions. Being network conditions, my network's fine. Always something with the. Uh... I'm sorry. Does Linux not have bandwidth? <laughs> Linux. Uh... <laughs> This, this, this system. Is Discord not going to work because you're streaming? Well, you it was me... working for like 20 minutes. <laughs> I am... Maybe if you lower the Discord quality, can you set that lower? Uh, yeah, let me let me check. Yeah, 720, uh, 30 F, you want it to go down to 480? It's going to look... Set, set as low as you can set it. Okay. It's fine. Yeah. I, I just need to see the broad strokes of what's happening. Uh... Can I adjust streaming quality? Can I... Can I adjust streaming quality, guys? Just end the stream and start a new one. Okay. On Discord. Okay. Yeah, um... Allow Discord.com to see your screen. Yes. <laughs> Zelrog. Um, I guess on, uh, yeah. on, on browser, it, it won't let me, um... Is that the quality? <laughs> Alright, give, give me a sec. Do I'm a to, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Do you want to switch to the app and see if maybe, like, we don't have the audio... Issues We're gonna have coming. the audio issues, but I know it's not gonna be on my end. So you're gonna have to hear me do robot voice. Just try not to mention it. One second, guys. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't have <laughs> Ops Linux doesn't have streamer mode. <laughs> Okay, so we're on the app now. Do I sound strange to you? No, you don't. Uh, yell. Okay. Yell. Check to see. Wait, am I still delayed? I don't think so. Oh, hey, cool. We're, we're normal now. Let, let me. Uh, three... So it might not have been a Linux thing. It might have been a browser thing. Might have been a browser thing. Okay. Resolution. Seven. Res Laura, you want Laura to... is sitting there thinking. Man, this is a very beautiful wall. I love this wall. <laughs> I said I hit the I I said I shared the screen and you and you fucking bit crushed hardcore. <laughs> I'm losing my fucking mind. I I am I swear to god I'm going delirious. I also I also have no idea where the fuck I'm going. Am I uh, am I better now or is it yeah, still going to be this It's crushed? fine. It was it was it was it was for a split second. It was funny. <laughs> this this is a train wreck. Um Okay, we have the circuit board. Uh I think I think we are stuck in Not back here. Wait. Wait, no way. So there? Yeah. Okay. So there's the like a restroom. 
This is it. A button to open a door in the ballroom. A restroom. This is this. This looks restroomy, right? Yeah, but there's no button. Are they talking about? Wait, is there another? Is this what I've been blocking here? Head to the far right corner and turn around to spot a lock where you can use the restroom key. I don't have so a restroom key! That's not the restroom! Okay. Where's the restroom key? Wait, do I not? No, I, I got a circuit breaker. That's all I got. Have we been to the ballroom? This is the... No, this can't be the ballroom. Oh, this is the pool. Wait... I... Oh. Plus... Trying to get on the light fixture. No, that's not or a light... Bench or whatever. That's a that's a diving board. Oh, diving board, okay. This is a pool. Or, or at least it was a pool. It's a fucking... The architecture of this... Wait... Oh, no, that's just a guy I killed. Uh, ballroom. I'm guessing. Moving the blocks out of the corner reveals two hallways. Yep, I. One leads to the restroom, and one leads to the ballroom. Okay, so the ball. So this is the restroom path then. All right, so here's the. So here's the restroom. I think this is the ballroom. Okay, yeah, you're. Wait, hold. No, wait. Wait a minute. I don't believe it. This is the fucking restroom? What kind of a restroom is That's... this? Okay, no, you're- I, I guess you're right. No, because, I mean, this makes more sense. This- this is a- this is either a really shitty ballroom or- or a really bizarre restroom. It doesn't really look like either too much, but it looks more like a ballroom. But- but this not big enough to be a ballroom! Really cramped ballroom? This is a ballroom you rent out for, like, 50 bucks for, like, a shotgun wedding. Follow the blue hallway to the ballroom first. Okay. Yep, so this uh, is- thugs. Yep. Balc- there was a balcony in there? Yeah, I climbed the balcony. Unless, is there another? When the coast is clear, turn around to face the entrance, then head for the doorway in the far left corner. Doorway in the far left corner? There is fucking... We gotta have a, we gotta have a, you gotta hug the wall, uh, situation. It's too easy to just, like... Alright. Uh. Oh yeah, barefoot glass walking. Fine, she's careful. If she was running, she wouldn't be careful, and she'd be cutting up her feet. Well, okay. Curious, then. There it is. Alright, I know what I need to do. I'm not gonna like it, but... It needs that to was done. another, uh... That was another live stream game victim. Was that uh, Crash Team Rumble? Oh yeah. That just like failed immediately because that's not what anyone wanted from a Crash game. That's... Apparently, that was Toys for Bob's first idea, though. Like they started developing that before Crash mm -hmm. Four. Okay. Maybe they just the execs were like wanting them to. I, I know it was their idea. They wanted to, I guess, do something different with Crash, and they came up with a multiplayer game. And then it they... probably was not like super live service oriented in the first iteration, but and then they're just like, we're gonna throw fucking live service onto everything because it, it's a license to print money, baby. And well, over what's the... that? I guess over the course of time, they just decided to instead make a single player game, and thus Crash Four happened. Yeah. And then they just kind of, uh, 
I, there was a whole lot of meddling before Crash Team Rumble eventually came to its final version, and it just it just was dead in the water immediately. Uh, so like due to a lot because of a, like a lack of support from Activision, but also because it was a dumb fucking idea. Oh yeah, I get. Like, what are the list of like live service uh, failures that happened? Uh, that happened in the in this de in like this decade in the last decade. It was uh, Anthem was the big one. That was Bioware's attempt at that kind of game. But Didn't it, everyone just like ignore Overwatch Two and continue playing Overwatch One? I think and people had a lot of issues with Overwatch Two. It was like uh, it was basically the same game just repackaged or something. They were constantly promising a uh, yeah. It was the same game repackaged with some with like a few new characters. And then they were promising like a, uh, a player versus enemy mode that never materialized, and then then Blizzard was like, "We give up. We surrender. I'm not going this way." What was in the What was in that path that we hadn't been in? Uh, we've been we've been in all paths. I I just have the rest. I just have the bath. Not bathroom. It's restroom. That that door that you didn't know existed. The hallway. Yeah, oh, yeah. It was, it was the key. Okay, I got the restroom key. Yeah, I got the or I got the ballroom restroom key. Whatever. It's not a ballroom. This is a restroom. I guess. They just everybody just shits in public. All right, that's uh, unlocks that area up there. You remember that episode of Black Lagoon where uh, Revy and Rock were in, in a fucking Nazi sub? No. Did we watch that? I thought we did. I remember we watched like two episodes, maybe three. Uh, what? Wait, you just unlocked two button, and then that. Oh my god! Guys with guns. Let Taking gun. over. It was just a guy with a baseball bat. He was. He was. Fell through a table. Wait, so the key unlocked a fucking glass door. That had a button. <laughs> it's a, such busy work. You don't need that. It's just fucking. It's like they didn't understand what like like the puzzles in Tomb Raider one. Back to the ballroom. So they just added a bunch of like backtracking with dudes in between. I remember there was a flash game where uh, at one point you uh, you got a you solved the puzzle to get a key to open a drawer that had another key in it, and. It, and I'm just like, but, but why though? I know where I'm going now. Everything seems to be, everything seems to be falling into place. I well, this is definitely a ballroom. Yeah, this is this is the ballroom. The fuck kind of restroom? I know, right? Maybe there was just like a sitting room, like an old school sitting room. People sat it's down. It's a room to like, where you rest. Yeah, not an actual like fucking room where you like shit and like. And like, uh, like freshen up and like just go and have like and have affairs. Just, just a fucking room where you just sit and rest and drink and smoke and have like noir conversations. That's probably the kind of room they were they were thinking of. Restroom. You know uh, the, go on. You know where the restroom is? Oh, right, it's down the hall. The fuck is this? All right. Uh. Shit on the floor. <laughs> I thought that was coming from the game for a second. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, uh, what were we gonna say? Uh, oh, the, uh, the new Tenkaichi game is $70. No! It has day one season pass. No! For $110 total. $110. Okay, I, I know that probably... Oh. I, pr I probably know the answer to this question I'm about to ask, but would you actually want to pay that much money for, for Tenkaichi? No. Uh, and I'm not willing to. I'm going to wait for a sale. No. Yes, we got another Which key. I, I don't know how fast one will happen because they know that people will pay for it. Darian and Gleam are going to pay for it. going to pay for it. Oh, it's their money. Uh oh. But again, that's just so far. There's gonna be more DLC. <laughs> Aww. 
also, you, you know what I learned recently? The Sims 4 is still releasing content. I mean, They're yeah. still making shit for that. Well, let me tell you something. My mom still plays Sims 4, alright? I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not surprised that, like, they're still making content. There's still a base for it, and people are coming after Maxis and EA, actually. They're coming after them for, like, life-based Sim games. I guess that's why they haven't made a Sims 5. They don't need to. They don't need to. The engine's fine. Like when uh, they... that one did fall through the life by you. I haven't yeah, heard anything I... about that I since about it the... was uh, cancelled spontaneously and without any obvious reason by Paradox. But uh, the other one people are talking about is called like Ezoi or something. Ezoi. And it had like a character creator that was available for a little while recently. Hmm, that's cool. They were probably using it to make uh all right, this is gonna be a block pushing puzzle. Uh, they were using that to make uh, like monstrosities, right? Here we go. Oh, I I am not aware. I mean, that's what people usually do in Sims. I, I it, I'm the kind of weird person that like that like just wants to make my person look like cool and uh, and like actually fit the setting they're in. Whereas other people and like uh, stuff like Saints Row, they just want to make, want make like crazy monstrosities, which is like. But I want I want my uh, my saint to be like this out of place British gentleman. It can be fun, but it also depends on like the tools, because yeah. like me's are so limited that if you've seen one like ugly, like just for the sake of being fucked up, me you've seen them all. Yeah. But uh, no, what I've seen of Izoi is that uh, just people making just regular look. I don't know about regular looking, just normal humans that just look unreasonably beautiful because it's a very, like, good looking character creator. Nice. The beautiful people. Alright, what did I open? Oh, do I have to. Okay, more block pushing! Not Ezoi, Inzoi. That's what it's called. Inzoi. What's that supposed to mean? Who's the studio behind Inzoi? Uh, Inzoi on Steam. It looks like almost photorealistic, which I guess if you're into that, great. Yeah. Dude, I want I want like a life sim game, except it's like it's like just like slice of life anime themed. Craft and ink. I'm sure there's lots of like anime themed games like that. Yeah, but a lot of them are uh, are like you know they're, they're, you know why people would would want to they sell them for a specific audience. You know the audience. And you know, like, I'd like to have, like, one of those games where, uh... Uh... Uh-oh! Okay. Wait, okay. I, I totally fucked up. It's over here. Wait, what? I... What do you want me to do, game? Oh, fuck off! All the... Uh, you gotta move that block all yeah, the way back. Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay. It's my fault. I, I I thought I thought the, uh, the hatch was uh, outside of the... Outside in the hallway. So, now we're tracking, uh, so we have a circuit breaker, or a circuit, that, uh, that we need to find a use for, and, uh, whoops. And also, we need to, uh, find a key for that, uh, that keyhole in the hallway. So that we can, like, seal the, seal this world and prevent the Heartless from getting in. Yeah, also... <laughs> Hello, Adam Green. Yeah, I can I can see you. We were just deep in discussion. In discussion over uh What level is this? This this is level eight. Wreck of the of the the, the the Mary Dorian. Mary Do the picture of Dorian Gray. There's a trap. If you if you take out uh, a uh, your guns and you shoot a picture, then uh, then you you take damage. <laughs> Uh, 
Dude, the picture of Dorian Gray Tep definitely exists in this universe, right? I do. What is it? What What's the picture of Dorian Gray? Have you ever read that that short story? Nope. Let me give you the the Spark Notes version. Uh, sure, Spark Notes. Uh, there's a uh, There's a uh, dude called uh, called Dorian Gray, right? And he's like he's like this pretty dude, and then somebody makes like a picture of him, and he's like, "Shit, this picture." You know what? What sucks? This picture. Uh, of of me is going to last forever, and I'm going to fade and like get older. And his friend's like, "Yeah, that's just life, bro." And he's like, "Yeah, well, you know what I want? I want to switch. I want to. I want to trade places with that picture. I want to be the one who will be beautiful forever." And then like, and then some something just grants his wish. It just and then it tur- But then as a result, the guy becomes like cruel, vain, and arrogant. And every time he commits like uh, like a cruelty, the picture. He gets more and more uglier until finally he's like, "This picture's controlling me. It's making me be evil. I'm gonna destroy it." And he stabs it, and then he dies. And then the picture goes back to looking normal. And then Dorian Gray looks all disgusting, and he and and stuff. That's the picture of Dorian Gray. See, if that were written today, it would be an SCP, and it would lose a lot of its own identity as a result of that. Yeah. It would be great. The picture of Dorian Gray. It would be somebody taking like a picture of him at the, at the prime is like like a Polaroid or something, or like digital copy, and then oh, God. more block puzzles. This is also very similar to that one Star versus episode. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a it's a pretty like it's a classic literary uh, tale. Get the author though. Wow! Uh-huh. Alright, so this is probably the hallway key. Rusty key, probably for the hallway. Uh... So, that... There's still that, uh, that, uh... So probably that underwater hallway probably is just a secret. We don't need... We don't care about secrets. Okay. Alright, we're out, finally. We're getting, we're getting through this. Like, aside from getting stuck that one time, we're actually kind of moving through this pretty, uh, pretty quickly. All right. How do you say that? How much of the level is left? I don't know. That's why. That's why we gotta keep this pace up. All right. Uh. Drop. This could be damaging. All right. No, not too bad. So is this just storage? Is this supposed to be a bedroom? It'd be a pretty shitty bedroom. Okay, so I opened a doorway to get to here. Oh, I know what they want me to do. All right. Fair play to you, game. That's actually that's actually a clever uh, solution to this puzzle. Because of you just built a, a puzzle based off of uh, outplaying the the block puzzle physics. There's a whole level about block puzzles. Yeah, just but they're doing it in ways that's kind of clever. I still don't. I still don't like the fact that they just. Like just shoehorn in like uh, like combat scenarios that don't make any sense. Okay, so now I have. Now's the time we should get be, be getting attacked by Atlanteans. Oh yeah! How dare you? We've claimed this wreck as our own. Laura Croft in like Solid Snake scenarios where she's fighting blatantly supernatural things. I guess she does that from she time does. to time. It's, it literally happens. She fighting. Well, it's weird because I guess the Atlantean arc was like sci-fi. Uh, pushing. Wow, dark hallway. Hello, I'm ready for your combat. Oh no. 
You think that Bleach game is gonna cost seventy dollars? Oh, the uh, the fighter probably, probably, probably gonna charge seventy dollars for it. I think they know they can get away with that for Dragon Ball, not Bleach though. <laughs> yeah, I saw that you got Donkey Konged. That was mean. <laughs> Fire down below. Better jump over it. Da -da -da. Well, I guess I'll, I'll just run over. I'll just run through it. All right. Or do they want you to, like, grab the ledge and hang there for a second? No, here's what I'll do. That's one of those traps you have to die to once. Uh, yeah. I, I was just jumping over. Hello! <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no! It's a fucking life. Hey, we can get out of here! There's a lifeboat! How did this boat get here? It just... It's either madness or brilliance. Uh... Especially because if this is upside down, then that used to be the top of the ship where the boat is. Yeah, this is so... I'm really just, like... I hope we didn't need anything back at this just um fuck it, just follow. Uh Dead End This game is very meandering. Yeah, this game in particular or compared to Tomb Raider 1? I, I guess this one in particular, I kind of had, I was I was kind of able to follow what we were doing in each level and what our goal was oh, yeah. in Tomb Raider 1. Yeah, the fucking... I just find ourselves in places for this game. Yeah, she's just, we're, that's also true for the story, we're just kind of finding ourselves in places uh, uh, in Tomb Raider 2 as well. I finished watching through uh, San Andreas. That's a meandering game. Yeah. Kind of finding like it's it starts off with like a, de a you know intrigue Dead. and a plot you know you got to help your brother there's like corrupt cops and shit going on in the city and then like halfway through the game it just kind of derails into stuff that the devs wanted to stick in because it'd be fun like a fucking jet pack oh yeah and then uh and you end up doing all that wacky shit for a while and then it's like it suddenly remembers oh right there was a plot we were supposed to be doing yeah for Street. like the final act that's a game that just goes, that just, if it had a shark, it would totally jump it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Final boss fight. Spoilers. Big Smoke, why are we fighting? Man, I don't know. <laughs> Wasn't it that, like, his fucking, like, they were involved in, like, his mother's death or something? And then he, like, he got carried away with the game and he got involved in, like, a drug trade or something. Oh, yeah. It was like... really not well explained. Up oh, found you. And there really was a scene like that at the end. Like, hey, why don't we just talk this out? I don't know. Dies. Hey, let's just, let's just fucking talk this out. No. It was such a no reason fight. Are we doing this for revenge? Nah, we're just doing this because we have to. Because it's a fucking video game, Smoke. I play the game, CJ. Uh. Hmm. Use bobbery. Blow up that wall. Right, so I can't, uh. Not here, but it's the only way to go because we need to drain this room. That's the current objective, I think. I need to open that. That'll probably have the switch to drain the water, so I can go to the very bottom and uh, and open that door at the very bottom. There's there's like three more levels after this. Uh, two more. Wow. Next stream is good. It would be four levels. Oh gosh. Uh. Sick.
All right, that's just a pit, a death pit. Nothing going on down there. You looked in the water under the boat, right? Yeah, there was a there was a door. Um, was there an item down there? Uh, I'm trying to find where you're at again. So, take another look. Uh, you've only found one circuit breaker, right? Yeah. Do I need a two? They expect me to find another one. <laughs> only They're one. Not, this guy does makes no mention of a boat, which would be like the easiest, most identifiable landmark. A boat. Maybe they they call it like canoe. Lifeboat. Eddie. Should like I feel like there should be something up here. It isn't, and that that really like weirds me out. Okay, so that's where the. All right. Flooded room with floating platform. Is that what they're calling That's it? Probably a floating a, platform? Yeah, floating platform, sure. Dive into the water and pull the level on lever on the wall below the entrance. Do you do that? There's a lever on the wall below the... Okay. Floating platform. It's a boat! Just call it a boat! It is the boatiest boat to ever boat. This is a timed lever. Timed le oh, that's good to know. Yeah, there it is. I see. Please. But I don't need to, so I do need to drain it, but. Is this the right side? I have a feeling this isn't. No, son of a bitch. Eh, I made it. What'd that do? Is that like just a switch to get back out if the timer runs out? Uh, but I don't need to. All right, whatever. The door closes behind you, but the switch inside opens it again. Okay, well, uh... Probably, prob probably should have warned you about that glass pit. Yeah, it's fine. I saved. We gotta be over here. Interesting. Want me to? Okay, the guide suggested, like, hanging from the ledge and pulling yourself up when the trap door closed. That was funnier. That, yeah, that seems more intended, what you just did, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, because there's two, I'm like, okay. This one. That was a door. All right. Something is here. Oh, nothing is, Okay. Again, because I don't trust this game. All right. Uh, so you said that you don't think the Bleach game will be like seventy bucks. It could still probably be sixty. Uh, it's Bleach. It's not. It's not got that power that DBZ has. What the hell is that breathing? It's a pain, but it's not a pain as big a pain as the Opera House. 
upper house was fucking brutal. This yeah, that's just... that's like the bar. You guys are out of range. Wait, is this the ballroom again? One down. One left. Well, this is a different ballroom. How many ballrooms do you need? Oh, uh, is it well? I've heard of cruise ships that have like five, like ten casinos. So. Ten casinos, twenty restaurants. No. Three brothels. That was lucky. Man. We met Mr. Wickersham. Yeah, we did. It was at, a... the, uh, at the at the airport because he had a layover. And the the day it happened, the fucking the systems all went down. Yeah, and then we couldn't like go to any of like the fancy restaurants past the checkpoint. No, all the, all the restaurants are inside, so we had to like pull him out, and we had to go to like one of the two cafes that were outside. But, uh, you know what? I still had a good time chatting with them and stuff. Uh, talked about Ed and Eddie. I, uh, I went on an unhinged rant about AI that made you too uncomfortable. I joke. But... What's the point? The fuck is the point Did of that? Th just close it again? No, it opened it. Like, it's a timed switch that has it go lower. Like that, but I don't understand the point of the. I don't want to drop down because I don't know if I'd be able to get back up here again. All right. I'm gonna save in front of the switch. Yeah. So it's that switch. It's that right over there. That drops down. But why does it drop down? Captain Kirk is climbing a mountain. Why is he climbing a mountain? He wants to make love to the mountain. You know, uh, William Shatner uh, was in a uh, was like a character in a first person shooter game. Uh, which one? It's called Tech War. William Shatner's Tech War. William Shatner's Tech War. Also a syndicated show and a novel. Well, I can't do that. Alright, so what do you want what do you want from me, game? Uh-huh. This reeks of some uh of some like uh Yeah, this reeks of some secret shit. I don't care. Uh Yeah, he gets on your he gets on your ass if you kill too many people in a mission. <laughs> And a first-person shooter game from the 90s. Doesn't, uh... Doesn't Goldeneye do that? Uh, or is that just civilians? It's just civilians. They have, like, some mission objectives where it's like, you gotta minimize civilian casualties or minimize... Or minimize scientist casualties or civilian casualties and shit. Yeah, that's just a death pit down there. Uh... You, you had some leeway. You could kill, like, one or two of them. You couldn't kill, like, a bunch of them. Is oh hey button. What's this button? Do you think do? the totally spies girls ever killed anybody? Do you think Jerry covered it up? All right, cool. That drained that. And uh, did they did they actually kill somebody in the show, or was it all just non-lethal shit? I don't think so. I, I don't think like the totally spies or Kim Possible ever murdered anybody, but boy, I'd like to see that. Okay, episode. There's, a there's a difference between murder and just pe people happening to die, like uh, during the course of their operations. Like, did so there were no. I guess it de depends on if it's intentional. Yeah. Like they just like they're grabbed on if it's them like falling to their death or them kicking them off. They kicked them off and then they. I had like a dizzy death where they're going, no. See, this is what I was afraid of. Like, 
Yep, yeah, that's the switch that drained the, uh... Well, I just killed myself. I didn't kill myself. Alright, well, I guess I live here now. What? Who with the... Oh! <laughs> Imagine you fall down, you get impaled by a bunch of glass, you're still alive, and the shark gets you. Well, then no one would be happy. The shark would, like, see the blood pooling in the glass, and he couldn't get to you. I'm saying the shark gets to you as, like, the glass underneath breaks as well. Yeah. Like, overkill. Alright, so, that's how you get out of that situation. <sighs> well, how am I supposed to get back up if... You saved up there, right? I did. So somehow I have to go down here, trigger the switch to get the boat, and go back up all while that one fucking... No. The game wouldn't expect me to do... No, why am I saying that? Okay. You can run all the way around the perimeter and take a running jump through the trap door before it closes. Yeah, but why do I need to go through the trap door? I got down here through another method. What are you talking about, guide? Oh. Uh -huh. The problem solved itself. I got the second circuit, uh, circuit, uh, breaker. Okay, yeah, no, you're where you need to be. Everything... <laughs> So, that's why they, they had that thing. They didn't want you to miss the other circuit breaker. <laughs> okay, so it's timed. Got it. Did you drain the flooded room with floating platform? I did. The, plat the, the platform is no longer floating. It is actually on the ground now. Come on. Nope. Okay. Saving. This is this is intense as fuck. All right. Now we've got the second circuit breaker. We've got uh that one area drained, so we just need to go back to. Oh, it's just over here. I think I think what really just hurts this game besides the uh it's uh it's just lust for for uh for death is the fact that um is the fact that like the the, the games the levels are just linear linear enough to be like frustrating. Also, that why do I need to take unnecessary damage? There's no way I could have avoided that. <sighs> a lot of the a lot of the progression in this game feels like it's unintended. Yeah. Like I'm not supposed to be doing this. <sighs> There's gonna be a barrel. No, there isn't. All right. Yeah, we're close to the end. Okay. Uh, straight and left. Let us go, uh... Let us go straight. And die, probably. Here. Okay. What? This is the sitting room again. The rest room. Wait, no, I hope, hope hit a button that that did fuck all. What? <sighs> Will you okay? The rest room. This is a fucking maze. If you've reached this point and it's inaccessible because the glass doors are still open, you'll have to go back to the restroom and press the button in the alcove again to close them. No! <laughs> This... This game... It's 
So what did that button do? It did s Oh, it opened this, uh, shortcut. Oh, hey! Cool! Oh, some more dudes. I'm, I'm glad nobody decided to take their dogs down here. Alright, I know what I need to do. It's actually not that hard. The fucking second guy with the... Why are you- why are you holding harpoons, buddy? You yeah, fucking- were you gonna fucking, like, just, uh, just stab me a bunch and call me sinner? Alright. We're gonna find Scooby and the gang looking for, I don't know, that diver dude. I was obsessed with, like, with, like, uh, like, diving, uh, like, episodes of cartoons as a kid. Didn't they- did they go underwater much in Jabberjaw, or am I thinking of a different one? I, I don't know. I, I figure that damn shark left uh, left the ocean for a reason. Well, it, it was a lousy reason because there was apparently a lot of like anti-shark racism on the surface. Maybe maybe he needed to leave in order to like you know dodge uh, beds or some shit. I don't know where <laughs> I came from. It's like uh, it's like the fishmen. He it's, needs to deal with the prejudice because he's gonna build a better tomorrow for sharks. He just he just left because like, like he just didn't want to. He did. He was really was sick of fucking or Cody Cody Jones's shit. Hey, well, why did I come here? You told me. To... Oh, there oh, it is. Th a third cert. Uh huh. <sighs> okay. Well. I got three of them. Where am I going now? I think I've done everything I can here. Press the button on the end wall to open a trapdoor elsewhere. I did. Wait. Uh, what do you mean end wall? Which end wall? Not the one opposite the glass doors. <laughs> what? What? Wait, there's two... Okay. I think it means in the area where you just got the third circuit breaker? There's no sense, though, because... Wait, what's over here? Where I came... Yeah, this is where I came from. Alright, back to that area. I know which area they're talking about. This is tedious even with a guide. This is just like... Okay... So there's button. two buttons here. Yeah, there's two buttons. I grabbed the one, and that opened up the trap door over there. So I already did this. And then I did that. Press the button on the end wall, not the button that's opposite the glass doors. Yeah, to I open did. a trap door elsewhere. Yeah, I did that. That was the trap door that uh, toggled over there, back in the restroom. That's how I was able to get back to the restroom. So we've come full circle. I'm guessing I gotta what I whatever I do next, it has to be through the restroom area. We're here now. We got three circuit breakers. I'm assuming. Two of those switch, and I just fucking missed it. Well, we need to apparently go through the trap door we just opened. Yep, we just did. We're back in. We're back in this area now. So we got three fucking circuit breakers. And we don't have- we were collecting them for some reason. To do something with them. I don't know if I'm up for three levels today. <laughs> this, this area is kind of boring, isn't it? Like, just you think that a shipwreck would be more exciting, but no. We need the uh, we need the Donkey Kong Two underwater music playing. Uh, damn, I the I, really I, intense sounding one. Oh, you, you mean the uh, the one with the ship? You know what? Like with the, on the seal level. Yeah. You know what? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can swing that. 
Yeah, that, that would really help out. Da, 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 da. I at least want to get through this. this game, if this is... Alright, uh, while you're, while you're double-checking the guide... This is a co-op uh, stream now. Uh, while you're double-checking the guide, I will throw on uh, the thing. What's the name of the track? Mm -hmm. Uh. It's the only track for underwater levels in Donkey Kong Country 2. Donkey Kong Country. Okay, let us... Not Steel Drum Room. No, not that. Steel Drum Roomba. Bomps Romp, Cranky Kong, Jib Jig, Lockjaw Saga. I think that's the one. That sounds right. Can you hear it? No. No? That's fine. No, I'll I won't be it. able to. Dang it. Alright, well, at least it's playing. I have it on a loop. Ignore the blue passageway, it leads back to the ballroom. A few steps ahead is the trapdoor you just opened with the button. Okay. Wait, there's another but trapdoor button? The button that you pressed in the back in the room with the third circuit breaker. Two Maybe you in. went down a different trapdoor than you assumed? I don't. So go back there and we'll go step by step. Okay. Alright, trapdoor. Go back to the circuit breaker room. I don't know if this is the, right, the correct trapdoor. Circuit breaker room. Okay. All right. Okay, so I'm retracing my steps. That treasure hunting was supposed to be exciting. All right. This is the. Is that right? Go back the way you came. Right. Oh. Climb back into the rusty passageway. Uh huh. Rusty Head passageway. Forward, then turn right at the next corner. Turn right at the next corner. Turn right again. Right again. A few steps ahead is the trap door. Yeah, this is so that I came out here. Okay. Draw a weapon, step off the edge, two thugs. Yep, got him. Exit the restroom through the hallway where you came in originally. Yep. Proceed straight past the movable blocks to the swimming pool area where you enter the level. Okay. Go to the far right corner and jump into the little pool. Alright, so I was going the right way, so something's there that is like... Okay. What next? Uh, Metapack, take a breath and swim through the twisting passage to a lever. Pull it to open the trap. Oh, there's door. another fucking lever. Always oh, a lever. Just to be safe, because I don't want to miss this fucking lever. It's always, it's always hidden! It's always fucking hidden! I can't, I can't ever find the underwater levers! Alright, that, that, that's gotta be the thing that opens the one up here. Ah! Uh, oh! God! Another one, huh? decided to take a combat focus in a game where combat is standing still and firing, and all the enemies are bullet sponges. Three. Number three is so much... Tomb Raider 3 is so much better, I swear. Because there's actual exploration and shit in that game. But I think uh, next time I stream, uh, next game I, I stream it personally, it'll probably be something different. 
Uh, well, I, you wanted, you still wanted to do a banjo playthrough, so if you're yes. playing that, then we can do that after Tomb Raider. Yeah, as a break. Uh, uh... I'm still playing uh, the the uh, the fucking Donkey Kong Country Two music, by the way. Yeah. Okay, uh, we had the one underwater tunnel. We're not really underwater anymore. Yeah. I was just playing it to break up the monotony, but I can stop it. I think it's I think it's fucking with the uh, the audio. Uh. So I need to move this block. This block seems like it's movable. I need to move this block over there, but there's fire, so there means there's got to be a switch around here somewhere that turns off the fire. And knowing this game, it is probably up there, up here somewhere. So I got to find a, a way to climb up the. Uh... Is this the boiler room? This place. Large room with circuits and burners. What circuits? Okay, this is where I put the circuits, but I don't know where the fuck the fucking circuit board is. Is this the circuit board? Is this? It is. Okay. That does not look like a circuit board. There it goes. It, it just again the the HD graphics made it invisible. All this to put out the fire. Imagine, imagine you just avoided the circuit boards, and then you came here, and you're like, "Well, shit, I guess we're shit out of luck." How much fuel does this ship have that these fires have been going uninterrupted all this time? Well, and without oxygen too. It's, love this game because it just, it just is like halls of saws levels, like. Like just nonsense of in terms of like shit just still running. It's got to be here, right? What? There's more. There's I I hear it, the enemy. Okay. So I'm gonna guess that uh, that up here is gonna be some some like secret or switch or something, but uh, the real. Just an enemy, huh? And a switch. All right, throw a switch. What does this button do? That shit! Did I just flood the room? No. What I do? Throw the switch to rotate the huge ducts in the next room. Oh. These are ducks? <laughs> Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, cool. So we, why why is there a switch to rotate these fucking What are these things? Because I guess if you don't rotate them, she'll slide off when she jumps on. I know that, but what is the purpose of these things? I don't know why ducts would rotate. You know, in case you need to clean them. Right. The, you know, you ever heard of the term, uh, doom cute? Doom cute? It was, a, it was coined by, uh, modders of the Doom game. Where they use like the uh, the uh, assets and stuff in Doom to try to make it look like like uh, real life places. Okay. Uh, and and I, I just I'm like that's a great that's an interesting design philosophy when it comes to low res games like that. Um, this game does not seem to want to adhere to that. In in like most of the situations, these are just like basically like uh, like this is a dungeon crawler platformer. Okay, I think yeah. I think that's the end of the level right down there. But just in case I'm wrong, and it's just like you got ducks that need to rotate, and it's just like, what the fuck is the purpose of these? Okay. 
dungeon crawler that I see recently. It was the, uh, the first Slayers game on the PC-98 got a fan translation. Yeah, that was the one where, uh, where Amelia's dad, like, flipped the bird. Is that the one? I think that's the one, yeah. Like, that's amazing. Very out of character for him. But, uh... It's kind of a shame that the only Slayers game I played was the Super NES one, and it was just kind of very underwhelming from a gameplay stand standard. Yeah, you are you don't really like turn-based, uh, like, strategy games. Well... I've seen the same complaint online, that it was just a very generic JRPG. Yeah, it doesn't have, it's it's hard because it's like the the beauty of Slayers is that mm -hmm. it's a it's a tongue in cheek uh, like fantasy story. But it also like, had like somewhat interesting magic mechanics. I'm sure they could have worked into an interesting system of yeah. some kind, but but they didn't. It's also like kind of disappointing with the Slayers video games just because of what systems they were on. Yeah, you got PC ninety eight. Super NES, and two Sega Saturn games. And, boy, given that, it's not really a wonder they didn't make more. Yeah, okay, PC-98 did, did, did was, like, really good in Japan. Um, and then, but unfortunately, yeah, about the Saturn, you're right about the Saturn being, like, what the fuck? Oh. You know what? This is worth it. Just get a nice little shark view. So cool. Oh, you know what this is? This is the captain's... This is the helm! This is so cool! Okay, uh... Came out from this way, so which means the, uh... I have no idea what we're tr I actually have no idea... Like, she just followed the group down here, right? And she's just been killing them, and she doesn't actually know, like, exactly, like, what the, what, like, what's she trying to do? I, I guess just, like, escape at this point, right? She's coming down here, she's killing a bunch of people, and then, and then she's just like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Yo, Laura, what are you doing? What is your end game here? Live. You followed them down here. And from the oil rig. Okay, that opens that. Okay. What pissed me off is that Tomb Raider 1 had like a lot of like really interesting puzzles and stuff. Like the like I think what's my favorite level from one? I think that was it would probably be King Midas. Alright, yep. That's what I figured. You might have, it was very, because it showed you immediately, like, what you need to do with the five, like, bars, and it gave you the hand, and you just, and it had, like, it earned its, like, uh, like, path where you were, like, uh, going through the entire level to get to a place. And then, and then in this game, it's just, like, the puzzles are mostly just, like, just, like, time switch, run over here, and stuff like that, and it's just, like, kind of not really doing it for me. And not to mention the combat. Uh -huh. Just There's just too much combat. This game feels very backtracky. Yeah. Not in a way that Tomb Raider 1 was. So Which wait, I, I realize... Yeah, go on. Wait, I did all that for fucking matches? You're serious right now. There's nothing else here that... Oh, there's a block. Um. Oh, okay. Push. I probably should have done that actually. Cause I can't do this that. Now the Lara Cave. No, no boys allowed. The Lara Cave. You mean you haven't been inside the cave? The fuck you guys doing in my cave? Okay. Oh, okay, well, there's, there's a, a switch. There. There's a switch. I get it now. Yeah. Yeah, push it back. So this switch is probably going to toggle that switch uh, in the other room. Switches toggling switches. 
switches, toggle and switches, toggle and switches. No, that doesn't really that doesn't really do it the same way as people watching people watching people. That's just me though. Wait, what? But if not here, then then what was that fucking thing for? Was it over here? Okay, I need to explore some more because I missed something. I realize in retrospect that uh, the Thousand Year Door was a very backtracky game compared to the first Paper Mario. Uh, at least his combat system was better. Yeah. Well, it made a lot of improvements to, like, the quality of life things of the engine itself, but in terms of the general game design, it had a lot of shortcomings. Uh -huh. Yeah. Which, I don't know how much of it was because the game was, like, uh, like, rushed out at all, or... Even... In retrospect, I don't even know if that fucking is a drop platform at all. Could just be a different texture. I, I, I think... I'm trying to think of if I enjoy Thousand Year Door more than the original or not, just in terms of, of a sheer, just like, it's like complete package. I love the quality of life improvements, and I love the, the, the scumminess of the world. Yeah. It's a very scuzzy world for a Mario game. Oh, you can't pick the flares up again. That's interesting. Though that is uh, that is toned down further in the remake. They they made it more sanitized in the remake. Yeah, they did a no! lot of sterilization. No. Talk about playing to your weaknesses. And also added a bunch of quality of life stuff. So again, like I'm really mixed. They did address a lot of the backtracking. They added a lot of shortcuts, like uh, in the regular game, you go back and forth between the town and, town and creepy steeple like three times. They oh, added yeah. a shortcut pipe. Hey, this... No, that's where I was going. They uh. have a uh, warp zone to every area in the game instead of just like the four of them. Wait, what? Oh, there's... This is pushable? This is pushable, but I can't actually push it or pull it. It's just a block that does nothing. <sighs> this game makes makes no sense sometimes. You add a pushable block here that you can't ever push. <sighs> well, it's not timed. I can just find it on my own time. Probably somewhere around here. Wow, it's a good thing that I got a lot of flares. Uh... Oh, there it is. I'm gonna guess a bunch of sharks and stuff are gonna... Yep, there they are. I don't fuck with you. Oh, I looked away. You, you made progress. You figured it out. Yeah, I found it. I, I I just was like, it wasn't time. So. So wait, I went into a ship. I killed a bunch of dudes, and then I'm just fucking off. Now we're in an underwater cave for some reason. Why are we here? Barracuda. B -b -b Barracuda. Right, uh, so. Okay, up here. Do we do is this all just that? Just a secret. Is this, is this all this for a secret? No way. I, I don't believe it. Well, I've got my fucking harpoon gun, so... No, this isn't gonna be a good idea. So... There is something else here besides the secret. I figured as much. No way they would 
fucking have us do all that just to fucking... Are we looking for a key? Yes. In the... Okay. Is it on... It's on the ground, right? Uh... Continue forward with the windowed section of the hole, now on Laura's right. I'm gonna redo this. I'm gonna redo my save. So continue... Window section of the hole on my right. Okay, so like, this way. And the key is like, on the ground, here next to the ship. About halfway along the bank of windows, the ground slopes upward, then abruptly downward. Okay. As you crest this little hill, swim down to the left to find it in a flat area with some plants. Okay. Uh... So there's the hill, and then you go left from the oh, top of the hill. I found it! I'll get it next time. Okay. E-line. So I don't... these sharks just trapped here. Yes, so they're hungry. Like it's a closed ecosystem, Not like a terrarium, except uh, underwater. Come on, come on, come on! Gotcha. Fucking off now. Silver key. It could be like an album name. Accidental aquarium. Accidental aquarium. Probably be a better uh, title song than Accidental Racist. I was just about to make that <laughs> reference. Oh shit, where's the egg where's the uh, entrance to the ship? Here it is. It's fucking non Euclidean like architecture they built this. Alright, so I got a I got the fucking silver cabin cabin key. Oh, we're going to the captain's cabin. Lara Croft explores the back rooms. That's probably a mod. So we need to find the cabin. Um, is there more backtracking that I need to do? Probably. Okay, so that's the uh, one with the... Uh, I'm gonna guess it's back in that uh, in that flooded section. Return to the bridge. Okay, I'm at the bridge. And use the key to open the cabin door. Okay, I'm gonna guess there's a hidden switch then. Alright. Pop. Pop flare! This was almost two hours on one level. God. Your kid, well... Well, hour 40. Yeah. Shit. The levels can't get longer than this, can they? No way! We might just have to, like, feel out future Tomb Raider streams. I'm, I'm willing to do one more for this stream. Okay, so I, I need do need to move that, uh... Fucking... To get to that switch. At some point, I guess. But... Oh, there it is! Found it! Let me guess, is it... Oh. Did I mention this switch before? Did I mention this, uh, keyhole? Mm -hmm. I guess I just totally passed it. Alright. Alright, what's here? What's in this cabin? Fucking darkness! Imprisoning me! Mm, All that I see. Like darkness. Oh look, another switch. What does this button do? Oh, that it does that? Where is that? I just Laura Croft went somewhere and the buttons just didn't work anymore. They're just broken. Then she'd have to go home. Adventure over. 
Okay, I see, I see. I get it. That's how we move this fucking barrel. This fucking... We had to open a hole in the floor so that we could then do a block puzzle. Because it was just too, uh, too, like, down in order to pro in order to safely pull that box out of its... And that opens this switch! And that switch opens... Where the fuck is that? Another door. This, this level is... This, this doesn't need to be one level. This could have been two separate levels. The bridge. This could have been just a, it's a level switches, called... Open and switches, open and switches. Okay, so it's this one. No, not this one. Well, where did... This is... You know what Tomb Raider 1 I really liked about it? Is that when it opened a door... For the most part, it showed you exactly- it gave you more landmarks than nothing. Show you exactly where the fucking door was opening at. Yeah. And here, I'm just like... Everything looks the fucking same. Yeah, it's- it's annoying. So you agree, this- this game is a step down in quality that- from one. Oh yeah. Even and it doesn't add enough, like, quality of life stuff to be in, like, a thousand-year door situation. Yeah. What does it add? Waiting? Uh, waiting, um, climbing ladders and, like, certain walls. With the power of slowly moving, <laughs> slowly climbing, crawling. That's the big new feature I mean of the game. It's a variety of slow movement methods. My main, my main, like, uh, well, I mean, there's zip lining, but, you know, there's not enough of that. Don't know, I don't know where the fuck that that, like, activated. It just, it just opened up, uh, like a fucking, like, switched, or it opened up randomly somewhere, and I doesn't, didn't show me properly where, so I'm just kind of, Wandering around with my thumb up my ass going, where the fuck is it? Climb up and use the switch to open the trap door back in the cabin ceiling. So we're going back to the cabin. What? But we were in the cabin! That's what the fucking switch- Oh, okay, never mind. I had to hit the switch in the cabin to hit the switch out there to open a plate door in the cabin. That's... I... <laughs> the kind of shrooms were the fucking game designers on? Look, just make them walk a lot. That'll add hours to the game time the cabin, so... Mega Man Battle Network 1 was really bad about that. There's just padding gameplay with lots of extra walking and backtracking. At least with that game, like, you could just run away to, like, heal. No, you couldn't. You had the escape chip. Okay, yeah, if you had the escape chip, but... Is this the fucking ballroom again? Is this a fucking third ballroom? This is a third ballroom. I want- I want you- How many, like, living humans attacking us have we encountered on this abandoned ship? Oh, uh, more than- more than a dozen. Probably like 50. I want to say 50. And they're all, they're not even guys with, like, scuba gear. It's all just people in, like, baseball bat, with, like, baseball bats, and sometimes they have guns. Uh... We get on the other side of this. Although I have an... Laura, what are you doing, Laura? Why won't you let me... Whatever. Dark. What the? Somebody's shooting at me. What? You like scuba divers? How are you able to shoot me from? What? What the fuck? They're shooting. They're, they're shooting me through the ceiling, Zelrog. <laughs> this. <laughs> this game. This game is driving me mad. Alright, fine. Run, go, let's fucking go. Run 
down. Da 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 da. What was that? Was that uh... Donkey Kong? Oh yeah, that's right. I I stopped. I stopped that. Theoretically, I could get back there and grab that item, but I really just want this level to be over, so I'm just gonna continue. <sighs> this game is just like. I want to reiterate. I really wish the combat system. I, I feel like I should be down here. There's like something down here that I need. Uh, there's a tunnel down here somewhere. Yeah, cool. Uh, that's what I figured. Rusty barrels. Uh, no, that's just a crevice, not a tunnel. This is dangerous! Was that like a Zelda eel? That's the fucking eel from, uh, from, uh, Super Mario 64. Where am I going? It's dark. It's cramped. I'm scared. I'm going back for air. Fuck this. I'm lost. I'm, I'm so lost and I am so dead. Alright, turn right. Okay, there we go. I see where I'm going now. I just apply bandages faster. I'm drowning. Okay, got air. Get out of here. Whee! Okay. Rest cave, I guess. Yeah, places have them. Okay, well, uh... Use this. I'm gonna go hunting. I'm gonna go hunting properly. You going redneck fishing? Redneck fishing. Now they don't want to play anymore. Damn it! So from where you're facing, you want to go right to proceed. Where I'm facing, like where now? So I'm yeah. going to take a right turn that way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, that just goes. But I know where I need to go. I need to go this way. Is, is this the end? Finally! <laughs> you know what? It was long, as long as Opera House, but it wasn't as big of a pain in the ass. Yeah. Opera House was a pain in the ass. This one was like... Alright, where are we going now? Let's save first. Oh, no cutscene? We're just... We're back out here again. There's not... They don't usually have cut... Living Quarry! <laughs> more... Are you ready for more boat? We're just on a different part of the boat now? So... Hold on, I'm gonna double check. It, it, this guide gives a list of, like, how many enemies are in a level. 35 enemies... were in that previous level. Oh, wow. Wonder how many are in total. Okay, well, it, it's wanting me to go up here... ...but I can't, because the fucking... Is there a lever? I, Look for the lever. There might time be a lever. Lever time. I can't move fast enough. Well, good thing I saved uh, right in the beginning of the level when I did, because I would be dead right now. Is it going to be against the opposite wall? Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah, it's right. Is it right there? Like, why would a lever be here? Wow. This is this is this is a mean way to begin this level. All right. I think this game hates me. Yeah. This is a game that just hates like people who play it. Now here's a question: Which is the worst designed game, Tomb uh, Raider Two or Dark Souls Two? Uh. Shit. Um, that's not really fair because I. I, I have played Tomb Raider... I have played Dark Souls 2 the least. Um, but at least that had that combat system was based off of Tomb, off of Dark Souls 1's combat system, and so that combat system is better. At the same time, there's a lot of, like, where the fuck do I go kind of shit going for uh, Dark Souls 2 that kind of just makes me... Hold on. 
water smell that's bad too, so I'm trying to think of some. Oh, it's the, they're playing the uh, Atlantis uh, track. Raider Jack one. 2 was a great game, but a lot of people uh -huh. like fell in love with the style of Jack 1 and were sad to see it go. Yeah. Uh, I I mean, wasn't it like some people were, fi were sad that it was cutesy? They're like, you, you don't think this is too cutesy? I'll show you something. Uh, there were people who compared it to, like, okay, well, there's nothing that makes this really unique. It's just another platformer, which I was kind of in that pool, so. so wait, I'm glad the series took the direction it did. So somehow there's one level after this? Yes. What the fuck? This is a, this is a chapter with six levels. <sighs> spending, spending, like, a third, a whole, like, fourth of the game on, on a fucking <sighs> wrecked ship. I really hope. This is level 9 uh -huh. of 17. Yeah, how, how uh, does it say how long like this level should take to beat on average? Uh, well, the last one had 35 enemies and this one had has 21 if that's okay. any indication. Okay, that might that might be that might be key. The page looks a little shorter? A little. Double check. I just want to make sure I'm, I saved out away from the. Uh... All right, what's down here? Okay, that's fine. Oh shit! I can handle the guys with the bats. Mm -hmm. Th that's like, that's like. Decent enough for, like, this kind of game. Also, how big is this ship? Mm -hmm. Would it take this long to, like, just walk around? Uh-oh. Well, when, when you consider all of the uh, obtuse switch designs and the backtracking... Yeah, I wonder... I wonder how long the Costa Concordia would have taken just a random person to, uh... to walk through. Like when it's after like it's the sunk. biggest cruise ship ever. It was like one of the biggest, like that was the most modern like cruise ship disaster. It wasn't like totally submerged like this ship is, um. But uh, yeah, something tells me I'll have to come back here. And Okay, so I'm gonna need to find a way to disable the spire, probably to climb up and shimmy along, just so I can shimmy along that area away from that other fire. Is that a lever? That's or is that just a vertical line? It's a vertical line they use for okay. lever textures. I'm sure to just put that there. Right, so uh, we'll put a pan in this section. Um, we're not supposed to be down here just yet. <laughs> Well, I mean, there's, I'd say, living quarters, but I don't see anything that would indicate uh, this is like, as like having sustained like life. This this looks more like uh, like a Resident Evil hallway. Sorry, Silent Hill. You know something? This uh, the combat system for this game, it like. Like, Resident Evil played better. Yeah. In terms of combat. And I... Because... Simply because... Which that had tank controls and also didn't let you move the camera. Yeah. Has static camera. At the same time, though, I kind of miss the... I... Oh. Someone's trying to scam me. Uh, this... this that, that game had, like, uh, pre-rendered backgrounds, which is a lost art, I think. Of yeah. like uh, game design, I, I missed that. Like, uh, what had that? Um, Ocarina of Time, Final Fantasy VII. Yep, it was a very popular method back in that that era. It had a, it gave a unique like design look, but nobody does that anymore. And I kind of, I kind of want somebody to try to do a throwback to that. And I want somebody to try to do like uh, like FMV cutscenes in a, in a like a game again. 
I want somebody to try to make FMV cutscenes come back. I'm sure it could happen. Yeah, we, we if can. if Farset can happen, then that can happen. Oh yeah, the YouTube poop uh, mod for. Uh... Oh, is that not the name of the game? I I just meant the the game that was modeled after the CDI Zeldas. Yeah. Fine. I I want only fine dining. It's so, uh, RZ is the name of the game. RZ, right? yes. RZ is the YouTube poop mod. Okay. Okay, so... It's so dark. There... Wow! Very dark. Very bright. This game is... Alright. Better start climbing. I still feel like a lot of this is your monitor. It probably is. I need to... I need to get a better one at some point. Uh, well, I can't get up there easily. Oh. I think I see. There's another... Oh, you know what I was... I'm trying to remember. Yeah. I had an idea related to uh, those pre-rendered backdrops. Oh, yeah? And uh, I think I talked about it like during a Smash stream. The idea was that if they were to... Uh, if they were to do like a Donkey Kong Country that was more in the style of the original games, yeah, they would have to do like painted levels. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Because that's like they would have like a whole JPEG of the entire level, and then you would just have the collision added on top, built on top of that. Because that's what they did in the original. Uh, I think the original did have tile uh, tile elements. The problem with that is that you would have to like be totally like damn sure of every detail of the level before you like had it done. Because you can't change anything once it's like painted like that. Yeah. So but something. it would still be, like, very interesting to see. Hold on. I'm getting shot at. Where the fuck? Oh, up there. Is that a guy? That is a guy. Is that not a guy? No, that's not a guy. Look, who the fuck was shooting at me? Oh, getting shot at again. Okay, so I'm really just I'm really uh up over here. No? Does it just not allow you to stand up there? It's just collision. Yeah. Why? Don't know. Why would you have that clearly visible platform if you're not gonna let her jump on it? Yeah, it doesn't let me climb on it, it doesn't let me want to jump on it. Uh there's a switch up there. Um, I don't think I can make that jump up there to grab that to grab that ledge. Um, We're gonna have to activate these pistons at some point to like platform across them. It probably, looks like. It's probably gonna be a switch that I'm not gonna be able to see. Maybe <laughs> something's going on. No, that just. Somebody's here. Somebody's shooting at me. I don't know where they are. Fuck. <clears throat> By the way, you still can't hear the audio, can you? No. Damn. Linux issues. The guide makes no mention of someone firing at you from off screen. Okay. Alright, uh... I'm... Wait! Alright, I found it. Oh! Just short. Just slightly out of reach. God damn it. 
Uh, Enter the rusty metal passageway and follow okay. it through several twists and turns. Alright, so is this this one? When you come to the spot where you have to drop down into a lower passageway, pull out your weapons and proceed cautiously because yep. of guys with guns. Guys with guns, and then the metal barrels. Alright, so I am. So I. So there was something I have to do here. Run forward the wall, rolling barrels. They want me to. Let's see. Have you been in the burner room? This is the burner room. Okay. Try this. Okay! I gave up too soon. <laughs> they thought they could stop me. Well, look at me now. I don't trust. It must be cold down here. Aside from these burners. Probably, yeah. Okay, good. It doesn't reach. Is that what's keeping this ship from, like, totally freezing? This is the, the source of warmth? Alright, what does this switch do? That literally it? That all this switch did was turn off the... But why? What's the fucking point? Climb oh. into the opening to the left of the switch. There's an opening to the left of the switch? Oh, you're right, there is. Alright. I guess I disabled that for easier access next time. Okay. That definitely looked like a ladder. Yeah, Laura it did. doesn't have time for ladders. I don't know why they use that texture. What? It's footsteps again. Okay, what does this do? All right, that probably moved the pistons in the in the. Uh, I'm guessing that's the engine room. Why call this the living quarters if this is a goddamn engine room? Are they adjacent? Why are they adjacent? That's weird. Is for the crew members of the ship. Uh, okay, they're there. Just to drop in from uh, from a higher point, I'm guessing. Yep. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Yeah, the reason why I, I, somebody's shooting at me is I'm just hearing footsteps quite a bit. Uh, oh, over there. I see it now. Why would you put living quarters... Hey, uh, we're going to give you the uh, upgrade... On your room, you can sleep next to the fucking, uh, like, engines. Tong, 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 tong. Oh. Metal pounding all night long. Yeah, can't get any sleep. Your people screaming at each other to get the fucking shit forking. Uh, I'm going to... Take that. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. Go. Let's see. Okay, that's just a secret. Where's the uh It was over there. Okay, I know what I'm Are you not just jump continuing to jump straight across? Have you been there already? I haven't been there already. That's that's Laura, but her jumps have a meter, like worms, and you can control how how powerful they are. <laughs> that would require that would have unnecessary, uh, like that would add unnecessary complexity. Uh -huh.
knew there was a guy shooting at me. Uh, I'm gonna guess there's another switch to uh to make the pistons fire in the opposite direction. I'm not gonna worry about that switch yet. Should I'm gonna fucking do it? Hold on, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can uh, do a weird jump to get to that that ledge. But I'll save here just so I can like. I think that's the name of a Zelda glitch, the weird jump. Oh yeah, what? Uh, what? Is why I, I don't remember what it is. Curious as to what that is. Um, they have uh, there's a tech in the in uh in Tomb Raider style, in Tomb Raider classic games called the banana jump, where you would uh mess with the physics and the way the jumps work to uh to like get her to jump around like uh like. See. The reason why I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying this jump now is because uh I you know upon looking at this uh, at this I don't think I can make that jump. Yeah. Yeah, from down there to there, definitely not. From here to there, no fucking way. I'm gonna try it just just once. First thing that can happen is I can die. I made a save. Uh. Conceivable? If I was level, maybe. Yeah, no. All right. And then you bonked the ceiling. All right, so I know I didn't bonk the ceiling. It's just it just wasn't. Uh... Oh. All right, I'll just continue on this hallway, and then there's gonna be a switch to uh, put the pistons back the other way or something. And then that switch will probably toggle the the uh, level exit or something. Okay, there's a. Box. Okay. This is a container with supplies. Someone on the crew made the conscious decision that this was a good place to put this box for the future access. Maybe he got jostled during the, uh... Alright. Yeah. So I'm think I'm guessing this is uh, this will lead back down to that one area, which and then that'll uh, trigger the uh, the pistons the other way. So that's good to know. What the fuck does this? Am I? Is this whole? Does this whole like fucking room just to just to? Uh... It is. Oh my god, that is that is so weird. That 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 that's how this is going. Okay. Okay, let us, uh, wait. So, alright. And, can I make it here too? Just out of reach. Alright! Here's what, so, so I know what this, I know what they want me to do now. Return the pistons. Get back in the other position. I'm glad I'm figuring this out by myself. Head back up here. Go all the way back around. Oh, is this what Tomb Raider's supposed to feel like? <laughs> Not pixel hunting for switches. Actually trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. Yeah. So now I think I can make this jump. Yeah. Save just in case. And... Booyah! Now, this switch should theoretically trigger that switch in the burner room. Like that, that door in the burner room. Uh... That's not what I expected to happen. 
It showed us an underwater burner room? It flooded- it- it flooded fucking everything. I see. No, it didn't. I just- I just died. I didn't expect that to happen. Why- why did it flood the burner room, though? Funny that 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 I just I'm like what? Oh, you thought that the door would open? Wait, did it did it reset the pistons again? It seems to have done that. It not only it reset the pistons. Okay. I guess to give you a place to jump to. Probably yeah. All right. Well. Okay, we're, we're heading back to, uh... That's probably why it dropped, because, uh... Because it needed that water filled, and... Yep. Okay, so I'm heading... Probably not here. Wait! <laughs> so there was a lever there. I'm on to this game's bullshit. <laughs> what a convoluted... So theoretically, we're supposed to look at that switch and go... Well, I'll be getting there in the future. Alright, uh, up here? Yep, up here. Get in the cave. Safety cave. Why don't you fight someone your own level of dryness? I mean, my level of dryness. Get out of the water! I'm scared of you. Alright, I'm coming down there! I'm coming down there with a fucking spear gun and a dream. Let's go! Fuck yeah, diver! I get him? Yep, I got him. Uh, Alright, so there's some, gotta be something down here, right? In my stand, holy diver. Go through things. We're going into another fucking tunnel. Can't see shit! There's a Nagi. And there goes most of your health. Yeah, I know. Hey, okay, that... I don't know where that is. I'll breathe underwater. <laughs> this game... This game is... Did I mention this game's mean yet? Because it is. Alright. This isn't where we were, so we're in a different, completely different area of the... Is this not the piston room? No, this no, is this not. is a separate room. This is the piston room, because the piston room didn't have any uh, trap doors. Alright, there are people here, I hear them. This is another engine room. This is like, I guess, the propeller room? Uh... There's more ducts. Duck. Oh, have you watched Brazil? Is that a movie? Yeah. It's a uh, movie by, uh... That was luck. I did not know there was a switch there. It was a movie by Harry Pratchett, I think? No, no, that's the, the, the book dude. Um, uh, Brazil movie. Oh, Brazil. Level Terry Gilliam. 
They're Gilliam. He's a dude. He also did Twelve Monkeys, if you're familiar with that. But Brazil is like kind of surreal. It's like about like a, like a dystopian bureaucracy. It's like kind of like a, a parody, a parody take on 1984. Yeah. Yeah. This is random ass chain on the ground. Uh, sh sharp glass in the middle of a pit. Up there, okay. That's a book that everyone has a completely different interpretation of. Oh, 1984, yeah. Yeah. Okay, just out of reach! This <laughs> you imagine Kaizo Tomb Raider? It would just be this, except more. I feel like Kaizo designers would do better than this. Okay. But what there, do I know? There are two switches. I'm going to save because I feel like one of them is going to instantly kill me. I'm just going to pull one in. I'm just going to explode. Oh, it's that kind of Kaizo mod. Okay, that opened that up. All right. Sounds good. What does this one do? That opens that one up. But, like, I can't re-trigger them. Are they timed? Alright. Man, it'd be great if they put, like, I don't know, a sound effect or a timer for timed switches. Either of them. <laughs> I guess that would break the realism, though. Oh, I know what they want me to do, and I don't like it. But... They so, want you to speed crawl? They want me to... Or shimmy. They want me to shimmy. But but why, though? Wait, shimmy where? So those rays... And I shimmy... Oh, to that, to that one over there. But how am I supposed to get over there in the... Run and jump. Okay. I got it, game. I know what you- okay. Come on. The fuck you, game. The camera. The camera. Okay. And shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Yeah, it's cinematic it's camera oh angle. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie, that was actually kind of fun. Now what does the switch do? Is that in the this same room? Hold on, is that in the same room as us? What did that do? What did that do? Where 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 that draw a toggle? Don't just fucking show that to me and then just disappear. Is it in oh it's gotta be in this room. Okay, I see. I see now. It's over here. And... Maybe if I do this... No. Okay. Better, more, better idea. This. Yeah! Are, are the flips necessary? Have to. They have to flip. Flippy shit. Lucha Brothers. <laughs> Alright, so I did that. Um, I'm gonna guess... Okay. Uh... 
Is it worth pushing it? No, I'm not gonna push it. Uh, I am just. I'm just gonna fucking cheat. Oh, is that is that pick up a book? Oh, that was a guy I killed earlier. Okay. Thing and Jimmy. Okay. I see what they want me to do now. Okay, so far I find this level's way better than the last level. Everything yeah. seems more intuitive, and I'm doing my best part. It's just, it's just figuring out how to climb shit. There's no, none of that fucking hit switch, hit switch, shit. That, uh, that. Okay. That. Uh, no. A. I doing it wrong? Must be doing it wrong. Bless. Oh wait, why would you want me to shimmy there if you didn't? Is there another movable block opposite you? No, because that would be a different color. Yeah, no, there's no movable block. So I'm guessing they want me to push that block all the way over. Something to happen. Maybe. <sighs> There's no reason they would want you to drop down there, because you can get there normally. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, well it's all the way over now. That is a weird-ass optical illusion. <laughs> I thought that was like a weird-ass hallway for a second. Uh... I mean, I guess I'm going the right way. With this game, I have to I have to just remember that it it's gonna it's gonna expect me to do weird jumps. Make that jump jump though. Nothing. Up this, the the spot directly below you, you could have just walked there normally, right? It's not like slopes too steep. No, yeah, that. No, I could have just jumped up here. This is actually where I was supposed to be going earlier. So. I came here, right? Wait. I am now more confused than ever. So. So it wants me to move that block over there, but I can come here for... And then there's a space over here. I haven't been here yet. Uh, let's, let's investigate this section. I feel like, I feel like there's a part two that we're missing. I can't believe this game is making me want to just do, like, uh, like, uh, original, like, Code because it's just so, like, all right, oh, gotcha. And you know what? This actually looks like a place people would chill. Wait, that should be upside down. Yeah, I know. Right? The guard was the guards were here getting the paintings all right side up, quote unquote. Fix the light fixtures too somehow. Maybe, maybe the ship broke in half and, like, twisted and, like, half of it is, like, upside down and it's just this section that's right side up. Maybe this particular room was avant-garde and it was designed with upside-down furniture. That was gonna kill me if I didn't move. Solid snake wouldn't be wasting these fish. That's good eats. Yeah, no, Laura Croft is, uh... She just kills them. She only hunts for sport. Okay. Oh! Jumping puzzle. We haven't had one of these in a while. 
Like just a pure good old fashioned jumping puzzle. No? No. Okay. Uh. Work. Mm. I would not want to slide down this wood with bare feet. No, oh, yeah, splinter hell. Splinter hell. I like splinter cell. Wait, what? This makes it look like somebody tried before, and this is what happened. I'm Stevo, and this is, and this is uh, and this is splinter slide. Picking out splinters from his ass for like a week. Wait, no! Oh. <laughs> you Is fuck. Fake out? You fuckers. Alright, uh. Okay, so we're here now. That looks like that can be dumpable. What are you doing? Am I? Okay, that is... What's going on? Is, am I wrong? Maybe I need to go further left. Alright. There we go! <sighs> Gotta be here so I can see shit. Alright, so that wasn't much of a jumping puzzle. We're up here now. Uh, so what is up here? Let's save first. I imagine doing all of this with bare feet. Uh... Now that, I'll just slide it down if I climb up there. So there's something... So they want me to come up here. There's something up here that I need to get. Just says exit through the doorway ahead on the right. Okay. I see it. Oh! Oh no, it's a theater. Theaters are, are kind of like opera houses. It's theater. <laughs> oh no, opera house. <gasps> I'm surprised the stained glass windows held so well. Alright, so, so this actually makes sense as living quarters. By the way, why am I doing this? <laughs> I have no idea, like, like, uh... What? <laughs> there, th that's the kind of thing that, that, that kind of pisses me off with these, with this, uh... section. There's no, like, this goal with the with like the level design. There's no like obvious exit. Oh, yeah. They could be easily addressed with just like a passing line by Lara at the start of the level. Or yeah. I mean this to be fair, it that kind of I need to find my way to the helm of the ship. There you go, that's something. Yeah, she just she just came down here on a whim and she's just like exploring, killing random fucking people and just like and just like fucking around on a ship. Was this where I entered from? No. Miyamoto would approve of this lack of video game story. Yeah, it's just I'm just, I'm just traveling. Do you have a license for those weapons? I'm not... I'm not... To, I'm traveling. Yeah, I can't... Alright. Okay, fine. Please. Gotta do the block puzzle. Is this really what I... 
Oh god, there's more people here. They're not there. Wait, what's there's this? Something on the ground. I know. Oh, key! What key we got? We got the theater key! I cut. Good thing I looked here. <laughs> Game teaches you don't like, don't fucking take anything for granted. Touch everything. Go everywhere. Memorize every detail of of the area you're in. And for the love of God. Kill everyone. Kill everyone. Kill everything. I didn't kill it. Just, I didn't kill it. Didn't it. let you push it any more than that. Yeah. Got him. I'm wasting a whole lot of ammo. I just don't give a fuck. Only four thousand left. Who's these country people? So I got the theater key. That's probably my my main objective was just to get the. Why are you? What is it that you're hiding, box? Nothing. Okay. Uh, is this box a shortcut to get back up there? Maybe. I'm going to gamble. Yes. Box shortcut. I I can't push it. I can't push it uh, forward. Why? Why won't it let me push it forward? <laughs> this is a box with no fucking purpose. Hey, let me. I can't push it forward. Will it not? I'm sure, you can jump from here. No. Yeah, I can. Okay. It just I guess the physics are just weird for that for that uh for this thing. Alright, so at some point Wait No no that that can't be because No, I can't Fuck it is. Alright. Come on! What's on the other side of this fucking box? It's gotta be something important. <laughs> My paranoia is in full swing. I, I, I'm i scared that, like, if I just be like, eh, it's probably nothing, something's gonna happen. Right? Let me out. Thank you. Alright. Is that what that box is for? To... Alright, so that... What's over here? Uh... Sure is dark at this door. It's not even a door, it's just a hallway that goes nowhere. It's a hallway that goes nowhere that is black, that is scary. Peter Key! That's... Okay. Uh... We're gonna have a showdown in a theater! Shakespeare! I like Shake Shot! Get the fuck back over here! combat been less painful. Like, it's just, it's no longer just guys with guns, it's guys with, like, baseball bats and shit. I have lightened up on the gun goons. Yeah, the Milan was, like, was, like, really rough in that regard, but now it's just, they just seem to be kind of, like, just doing, just doing your standard, uh, like, get, getting close contact with people, enemies. <laughs> Also, no more dogs. Hello. 
Yeah, this is this is way less uh, dickish than like than previously. I'm not complaining. Uh -huh. I really. Or I... Let, let's hope the next level is also like this. Okay, switch. Like the box on the right. Yeah, so I see it. Lens in. Okay, uh, curtains call. Opening. God forbid we just like push the curtains aside. No, it's that it's that hard curtain. It's like really thick and and you know it's stiff from asbestos and shit. And it's been down here. I don't want to touch it. It's got mold. It's a thick curtain. Yeah. This is fucking dark. Were flares in the first game? No, they weren't, because the lighting okay. situation wasn't that bad. This is one of the hot new additions. Yeah. Darkness. You know, Item management to deal with darkness. You know, lighting and, 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 like, and like shadows were like a big rage uh, back, uh, back in the 90s, so I can imagine it being like a technical achievement that they really want to show off. I just, I'm just like thinking that this really didn't age well in terms of like, uh, of like player usability. At the very least, instead of like, like flares, you have to like pick up. It would be really, would have been really nice. Would have been, uh, oh okay. What would have been really nice would have been like a, uh, like a flashlight. If you just want to have the like show up, show off the lighting, just have her carry a light. Yeah, just like a flashlight, like a like a headlamp. Turn. That'd be cool. No? There we go. Shimmy. And I have to do this in the fucking dark. Wait, what? Wasn't there, like, more stuff up there? There... I thought there... I don't, I don't know why you're doing this. I, I I saw that there was like a thing to shimmy over. Yeah, so I'm I'm dumb. All right, hold on. I thought that was a wall. Silly me. Why is it all so gotta be so dark? When did I save? Oh, not too far back. I mean, it's pretty far, but it's still, like, not too far. You gotta fight those dudes again. Yeah. Do the curtain switch. Yeah, it's fine. But I still have the theater key. Oh, I need to move that block again. What the fuck does he look like Duke Nukem? What gall Duke Nukem Forever had to make fun of other shooter characters? <laughs> yeah, he was dated as fuck. That is one doomed space marine. One doomed. So I'm here, so here's what I'll do. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pre-pull this out ahead of time, and I'm just going to do the leap off the balcony. Because I know what to do now. And I'll remember to save. And then the, the uh, theater key was this way. Right, got that. Go down. Pull. Climb over. 
Other dude up there. E. Uh huh. Guns out. Guns in. They're gonna climb up. Got him. Heal. Up. Over. There we go. Barely like five minutes loss. What's the last? What's the next level in this ship called? Uh. The deck. The deck? How are we how are we gonna be on deck the in an underwater ship? I got him. And then and then after that, that's it, right? That's the last we're gonna be uh, like on this uh, fucking cursed ship. The deck is the final of the ship levels. I six ship levels. I guess they wanted. I guess they did. They technically counted like uh, forty fathoms as like, uh, uh -huh. as like just just like a, a water level. This was also a. Uh, it started with offshore rig. Which oh yeah. Wasn't the ship. Yeah, that's right. Offshore rig was its own thing, right? Just one level. No, there's two levels. There was offshore rig and then and then uh, the, uh, the the diving area. And well, I don't know if it's the game groups them officially. This guide groups them as offshore and sunken ship. So offshore was like two levels, and then we had the uh, forty fathoms, which was the, the between, and then technically that would make uh, the three uh, three ship levels, and then all right. I guess you could argue that like the offshore is two levels and then the the ship is is four. Yeah, still would be paced like shit though. All right, ready this time. There's spikes here, I gotta be careful. This is why they fucking made it dark, so you fucking trip and fall and die. Oh, a button! Alright, what does this button do? Oh, that area is flooded now, so I can get to that area. Okay, backtracking! Alright, let's check the other side and make sure there's nothing here. There's nothing here, okay. Please let, please let this level be just, like, way shorter. I have What, a the next one? Well, this level, this level is, like, we're making, we're, we're making a head, headway through it, like, it's gonna be four hour stream, we're only gonna get done two levels. Uh, we spent one hour on this level. The first one was an hour 45. And then, so... But I'm falling asleep, I really think we need to stop after this one. Yeah, no, totally. I didn't expect. Uh -huh. Remember the first, like the first game, we were just getting through like each level at like a reasonable pace, and then yeah. now here it's just like we're just like fucking falling asleep. Yeah, this game, this game is pretty chill. It's not really helping. All right. Level just ends. Yeah, that was so. Wait, we, if we if we jumped weird, we could have gotten there and into this level early. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. It looked like you were pretty close, but it's also probably designed specifically so you can't do that. Yeah. All right. So 
That ends that level. Next time, uh, the ne the final one is the deck. Oh god! So the wreck of the of the Maria Doria was just one big super level. Forty fathoms was not that long. Uh, the rig levels. Oh man! We have eight levels and an epilogue left. Okay, the epilogue isn't gonna be too gonna be too long. I don't think. Well, uh, that's uh, that's it for uh. For this uh, one today. Hopefully you can get your uh, computer sorted out by next weekend. We'll see if we can do something by then. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to uh, work on it tonight and do reinstalls and like a bunch of driver checks and stuff. Because this is very frustrating. Three hours, two levels. At least, you know what? At least that level was like not too bad. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you we'll next, see you guys next time. See you next time.